today let's take up linked list and let's take up deletion in a linked list now deletion in a linked list in this we'll be covering deletion from the beginning of the list now whenever we want to delete a note from a linked list there are two things which is to be done first of all we have to search for that note and then we have to make the necessary changes but in this case deletion from the beginning of the list uh we need not search for the node because uh, we know that this is the first node in your list right so basically i'll uh, just take up a small linked list to explain what is to be done here supposing this is start here right now inside start let's put some address and then uh let's make some other notes here okay this is my first note second note so there are four nodes in this and uh this one is pointing to this this is pointing to okay now here suppose the information is 11 and the next node address is 1022 right and here i have 13 and uh, let's say the next pointer is this this is the last node of the list okay so basically this uh, is the address 1011 this is the address 1022 and this one is 1034 and this address is 1056 okay so let's suppose this is our list and since we have to do deletion from the beginning we as we are to uh, delete this node the node which contains the information 11 okay hmm. So now basically when we want to do this we have to change the address of the start node fine now let me write it over here see okay now see supposing i have uh a pointer called ptr right now i say ptr is equal to start fine so here what i'm doing is i'm saving the address of start at a pointer called ptr so when i do this after this what happens ptr contains the address 1011 right after that we say start is equal to ptr next what is ptr ptr is equal to 1011 right when i say ptr next ptr next is 10 ptr next is 1022 right so what happens in this case start becomes equal to ptr next so start becomes equal to 1022 so basically i am changing this address over here this address is getting changed now this address is getting changed to 
okay so when this gets changed to 1022 what does it mean it means that this link you are deleting this link this link is not there fine so a new link has been made from here to 1022 this is the new link so start is pointing to this okay so this is going to be the first node of the list and then we will say <coughs> delete PTR. What is PTR? PTR is 1011. When I say delete PTR, this node is deleted, right? This is what is happening here. And when this node gets deleted, obviously this link also goes right so i am left with three nodes now i have deleted the first node from the beginning of the list okay hmm. so basically here after this point start is equal to ptr next you just have to write delete ptr delete ptr which physically deletes the node okay so this is the algorithm only three lines if um, there can be one uh, situation when start is equal to equal to null if start is equal to equal to null what does it mean it means that there is no link list right the link list is empty right so here you have to say see out underflow or link list empty something like this right okay <clears throat> this is the uh, logic of deletion from the beginning of a list underflow basically means when the link list is empty we call it as an underflow right okay now let's uh, just write the main parts of this program. I'll first of all uh, put down the structure for this. The structure, uh, how many pointers we need in this? I'll write down that. Struct node, int info, let's say, and uh, node pointer next, right? After that, you make uh, pointers start pointer new PTR pointer save pointer PTR pointer rear. Right? Uh, basically, in this case, We are going to have uh, these functions. This is um, I'm going to show you the function of deletion only, right? We have done the functions of uh, creating new node and inserting new node, right? Here I'm taking up this void deletion, and here in fact. Um, this is the prototype of the function and in the main function we assume that the link list is already there okay now in the main function first of all uh, the code for creation of a new node You will write the uh, if the whole program is to be written right okay code for creation of the new node that is creation of the link list will be done first fine the user will be asked to enter the new nodes still the user wants right okay hmm. so that part will come 
uh, and then after that now we will ask the user for deletion right okay hmm. so let's say i have a do while loop or a while loop whatever right here we say do see out do you want to delete the first node right end it right now the user enters his choice if the choice entered by the user if choice is equal to equal to y or choice is equal to equal to y right in that case i call that function deletion fine and here this is this is a do while loop so while comes here while choice is equal to equal to y or choice is equal to equal to y return 0 this will be your main function right end of main function now let's look at this function this is your void deletion right inside this node we will write if start is equal to equal to null right then see out link list empty no nodes can be deleted right see out end in else in the else part we will have the same uh, thing which i had put earlier ptr is equal to start and here we will write you can write it either start is equal to ptr next or you can write start is equal to start next both both of the things will work because now we have not changed the address of start start is still equal to 1011 right so if i say start is equal to ptr next ptr is also equal to 1011 in this case and start is also equal to 1011 right the address of start gets changed only over this line so i can say start is equal to ptr next or we can also write start is equal to start next right <clears throat> so start is equal to start next and then we say delete ptr right so here we close this okay now see the user is asked now i come to the main function do you want to delete the first node yes yes means this is called the first node is deleted so the address of start is changed now it is 1022 after that it goes back to the loop here right while choice is equal to y or y again you are asked do you want to delete the first node if the user enters yes then again it will be ptr is equal to start now what is start what is start is 1022 right and start next is 1034 okay so 1034 will go into the start and the link will be made from here that is this address will become 1034 and the link will come to 1034 here right and this node will also get deleted this way we will continue doing it right till the user says that he wants to delete the node from the beginning of the list once start when, when you come to this particular node when you delete when you want to delete the last node of the list the last node the next pointer of the last node is null so start will become equal to null when start becomes equal to null what happens 
it says if start is equal to equal to null linked list empty no nodes can be deleted right so this is how deletion from the beginning of the list is to be done the whole program involves creating a new node insertion into the new node if you want that is creation of the create creating a new node and then insertion in the linked list and after that deletion and after that display so we have already seen how to insert at the beginning of the linked list and at the end of the linked list also so here i have taken up only this module which is deletion from the beginning of the linked list so with that i'll come to this the end of this session bye